hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about static objects of the class so the static objects are stored in the static storage area and just like static variables the static object has the scope till the lifetime of the program like an example here we have one class called test and inside the main method we have created one static object of the class test so because this is one static object so the static object has the scope till the lifetime of the program so even though the static object goes out of the scope still the static object can exist throughout the entire execution of the program so in this example program we have one class called test and under the public access specifier we have one constructor and one destructor so whenever the constructor is invoked it is going to print the string constructor and whenever the destructor is invoked it is going to print the string destructor now inside the main method we have one if block and one statement to print end of main so inside the if block we have one static object of the class test so because this is one static object so whenever we create that static object the constructor will be invoked and then even though the static object goes out of the scope still the destructor will not be invoked so the statement after the if block will be invoked and the string end of main will be printed so at the time of termination of the program the destructor will be called by the compiler and then we can see the string destructor so now we're going to save the program and run the program and you can see first of all the constructor has been invoked and then the string end of main and after that at the time of termination of the program the destructor has been called off and that's because of the static object now if we just make that as a normal object and save and run the program and you can see first of all the constructor has been called at the time of creation of the object and after that whenever the object goes out of the scope then the destructor has been called by the compiler and after that the string end of main has been printed but in case of static object the constructor has been first called off then the statement after the if block has been called off and at the time of termination of the program only then the destructor has been called off by the compiler and that is only because of the static property of that object where the static object can exist throughout the entire execution of the program. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.